Welcome back, BD1P fans, to the random streak. Today is going to be normal characters. Win number 87 should be pretty free. The last, like, four runs have been pretty insane. All going to Beast, all having, like, game-breaking synergies. So, I hope the trend stays here. Anyways, question of the day, put your answer in the comments down below, is going to be, how do you like your eggs prepared? Scrambled, sunny side up? Do you prefer, like, an omelet? Do you just drink raw egg yolk? <laughs> Again! <laughs> oh, my teeth are fucking up. Ah, Fix my green screen fast. Ah, here's a seed, by the way. Ah. Okay, we should be good. My teeth should be fine now. My controller is uh not working properly. There we, there we go. Okay, your seed is going to be 71B04LBR. That was strange. We're fine now, though. Let's get into it here. Okay. So, when I when it comes to my eggs, I'm a little, a little scrambled now, if you will, just because of uh, that weird situation there, but... Wow, amazing. When it comes to my eggs, I think I do prefer a scramble more than, like... This is scary. We can die on one hit in this room. A scramble preferred, like, anything else, but I don't mind an omelet. I've, I've had a... I don't eat a lot of eggs, is the thing. Eggs aren't, like, my main, <laughs> my main food that I'll eat. I, out of everything, like... Out of any way to cook an egg, I've done scrambled the most for sure. I've never actually had sunny side up eggs or eggs benedict. What I have had though, um, like cheese omelets, you know, spinach omelets. Just like omelets with scrambled eggs pretty much. I don't like the, uh, I don't like when eggs are like super, and no one likes a runny egg obviously, but I don't like when eggs are like, when the yolk is liquid. I like when it's all fluffy or at least like a little bit, you know, a little bit crisp if you know what I'm saying. I, I just don't like when I eat an egg and it's like, you're drinking the egg instead. It's not my favorite thing in the world. So when it comes to just, you know, regularly, um, this is a scary room, actually. No joke, no joke. When it comes to eating any kind of egg, it 100% comes down to scrambled for me. But I understand that, like, you know, Eggs Benedict is, like, I, I think the most, like, uh, is mature the right word here? Mature way to eat an egg? I mean, it's the way that Gordon Ramsay likes his eggs, so it's got to be at least pretty good, but I'm just not a chef, man. I don't cook my own, I mean, I cook my own food, but it's, it's nothing like Gordon makes. My food comes from Walmart out of a box in the frozen aisle. I don't, I don't like, you know, go all out with my seasonings and shit. I, I do with when it comes to pasta. I, I, I make a pretty mean pasta sauce. I think my, my girlfriend can contest. I make a pretty decently mean pasta sauce. I would like a little bit of some, uh, some bomb action for this, that, uh, tinted rock back there. Although it's not going to be too big. We don't really, it's a, it's a small chance for small rock and an even bigger chance for just some useless soul hearts for us, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, when I make my, like, pasta sauce, I'll, I'll get, like, uh, this is, as, as a, you know, as dumb as this sounds, I'll get, like, a, you know, a bottle of, um, just already prepared, like, prego pasta sauce. And then I'll add some salt, some black pepper, some thyme, some basil, some Italian seasoning, uh, onion powder and garlic powder to it. And that's kind of my whole, uh, my whole spiel there. I don't really add anything else. I mean, I'll add, you know, uh, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese to my actual pasta itself. Not the sauce necessarily, because the cheese and the sauce already mix decently well when you're eating pasta, at least. Nice dodge, by the way. Just because, you know, the, the pasta's warm when you make it. So, expect to all- Ooh, okay. Expect to already have cheese melting onto your noodle. Please reverse moon right now. That's amazing. We're, we're gonna get perfection on this run. Oh my god. What an amazing uh, card drop right there. And a secret room behind us. Watch this fucking death cert right now, boys. Ah, you, you win some, you lose some, you know? That's a nice holy light off the bat there. Two more floors and we get a infinite holy light shot, which will be very, very nice for us. Okay, what a, what a great card drop there. Maybe a justice card for our stone chest? Maybe, maybe. But, um... Like, my pasta, I, I think my favorite kind of pasta is linguine, but, you know, close, close seconds and thirds, what, um... Strange. I kind of do want to take the Ace of Hearts for harder downpour rooms. Yeah, because, honestly, going to Emperor does not matter. The only reason I'll ever use the Emperor card, like, to get out of a situation, is when I'm low on HP and I need heart containers, and as the loss, like... You do want to primarily play through all of your floors first, just because you want to get maximum keys, bombs, coins, all that stuff. And I think having Ace of Hearts to uh, mitigate some bigger rooms of, of any kind of hard enemies is definitely more worth than just going to the boss fight. That's my opinion, at least. Plus, like, I don't want to carry an Emperor card, like, all the way down through the next, like, six floors of the game just, just to have my Cathedral be a little bit easier. When, hopefully by that point, if we're beating bosses and not getting hit twice, we should be able to manage normal rooms... 
Uh, we'll take this, I guess. Uh, not the greatest. Well, actually, we can start rolling some trinkets, I guess, and just see what those become. You shoot out, please. Thank you. A chest? We got two bombs out of it. Mr. Mr. Boom is uh, not a bad item, by the way, if that's what you're thinking. Mr. Boom's an amazing item, but as the lost, the Eternal D6 means so much more. Having the ability to, like, um... Please die. Please die. The ability to, uh, potentially roll HP upgrades into something that, you know, oh my god, what? Hello? <laughs> They should make GB Bug and D10 only roll into enemies from that floor already. That's my personal opinion. Oh, there's a, there's a Pulte in there. There's a Pulte in there. Watch out for that guy. Ooh, the kill. The kill. Oh, no, my cracked key or my charge key became a regular key. But having the ability to just, like, re-roll health or other useless things into actual useful things is way better than, uh, potentially infinite bombs. I, at least in my opinion. I mean, bombs are really good for boss fights, but we're about to have, like, an insanely high amount of Holy Light shots coming out, so... You know, pick your poison there, I guess. We can go back and we can GB bug this heart into a card, which is a stars card. Interesting stuff. GB bug, as, as, as not great as the item is, and it gets a lot of slack, it, it does make things a bit easier. Like, getting keys and bombs, it makes that a lot easier to bear, I think. And I, I kind of appreciate that, you know? I, I appreciate things like that. Also, I'm going to bomb Minmix. I hate Minmix so much. This boss is like the bane of my existence. If you have multiple, like, orbitals around you, for example, uh, we could die here. It was damn near close. It was damn near close. We'll walk in here. Ooh. Ah, you know, this is a hard one. I'm going to go Eye of the Occult, I think. No, I'm not. Don't be an idiot. So, my thought process there was, like, you don't want to be playing melee as the loss. You don't want to be running in with, with um, Maw the Void proct. But Maw the Void is not just playing melee. Maw the Void is also defending yourself from taking melee damage. So, I think Maw is the right choice there. And 100%, this is amazing. We actually kind of wanted this, like, really badly. Because now we have a Stars card for next floor. Teleport cards are amazing. Uh, so, like, the Emperor, obviously, I want Ace of Hearts over the Emperor. Because it instantly clears rooms for you. But the Stars card, if you lose your mantle... Leave that fight, leave that room, go back to it later. It's actually really, really good. Um, ooh. Well, we can walk in here because we have the stars card now and find the marked of all items. Of all items, huh? A damage up and a speed up? You'll love to see it, dude. Also, yeah, Maw the Void does a crazy, like, early game damage as well, so you'd be a fool to grab Eye of the Occult, I think, over Maw the Void. Do that. I am a big sucker for almond milk. If you know me at all, I love my high-tier based items, you know? With Holy Light as well, that's gonna be interesting. A perfection-based Almond Milk Holy Light. That might do some insane damage. <laughs> we might have just taken a really good or really bad item. I can't really tell which is which yet. I mean, right now, it's already doing some decent work for us here. And our damage, 1.56 for like a 12 tier rate. L literally, literally, not that bad. It's, it's not bad at all. And we're winning this run. I mean, honest, honestly, man, like we are not doing too bad right now. It's just the alt path is a scary way to go. But usually Dross and Downpour, if you can't handle those as a character, you're not going to be winning your lost runs anyway. So this this was the right choice. This definitely was the right choice. Just don't play stupidly. Once you're out of the Downpour and Dross, things are smooth sailing until you find like, I don't even know. Um... Until you, well, there's our Emperor card again. Until you find, like, maybe the Womb is a place where it gets harder again. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, yeah, we, we do a quite a bit of damage here. Okay, get in there. Ooh, um, I'm an Emperor card right now. And do the fight over again. Get my uh, Holy Light back, because that was a little scary. The Leeches uh, do not make these fights any easier. Okay, good damage. Okay, he's going to start jumping soon, I think. There we go. There's the jump. Everyone knows and loves it. And there's perfection. Okay. Good Emperor card pop there. That was a really, really good choice on your end. And you get another Devil Deal here. So how many shots do we get? A lot. We get a lot. And Dark Matter for Fear Shot. It's also damage, so we get more damage on our regular Holy Light shots. And we can roll this into a range and luck upgrade. Make, mean we get more Holy Shots now and more range on our tiers. Okay. Um... I think you do want to do your mirror section. There's no reason not to at this point because you uh, have, well, you have a golden key for this shop like, right away. Mystery gift. 
I don't know. But you already are the lost, and if you can beat your boss with less power than you have right now, why wouldn't you go fight it again? So let's go find our mirror, and let, let's, let's give that a shot, huh? And speaking of finding your mirror... All right, game. Small rock right now. Got a key back, you know? <laughs> it could be worse. Let's go and do our little dance, huh? Let's see how much damage we actually do, though, in full. I mean, it's... It's a considerable amount of damage, you know? Like, I, I'm not opposed to this build. Would I have liked to... Looking in, like, hindsight here, would I have liked to not have almond milk? There's, there's a case to be made, for sure, about not having it and, and having a, a, a re like regular higher stat DPS, but... I don't know. Like, this is kind of a fun build. I think, my opinion, this might be not the greatest for room clearing, but for fighting bosses, this might just fuck. This might just be the best thing ever. We gotta find out, though, on this floor. Uh, we can roll that again in the future, I guess. I don't really, I don't really want Spider Butt over, um, <laughs> over my Eternal D6 here, huh? Yeah, last run was a fucking doozy, dude. Last run was, uh, was crazy. I mean, any run you get an Archeon is going to be crazy. But any run you get, fair, like, Faring Green Feather and Stairway on is going to be unparalleled. You know, like, there, there's no way last run could have gone any better. I mean, Ipecap, Ip, Ipecap, Ipecap, uh, Trisagion, uh, Host Hat, Spirit Sword, Immaculate Heart, Sacred Heart, Godhead, like, you don't make that, that's just, like, the run, that is, that is the most fucking run ever, you know? You, you, you can't beat that, you can't beat that, walk it back. We did lose our item room item there, oh well, we weren't gonna use the knife piece one for anything anyways, I'm not going to mother on this run, you can, you can die with that knowledge in your mind. Oh great, we turned one heart into <laughs> half less value there, amazing. I walk out of the room, thank you. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. I mean, th this does shred bosses. I mean, you cannot deny this build is actually doing <laughs> the Lord's work right now. Excuse me on that. And range. Uh, that's how many parts mother are we? No, it's just like... We don't need contact damage. And our range, we already have one range upgrade. Like, do we really need another one? I'd rather hedge my bets on getting a damage up or a tears up than, than just accepting the range upgrade. At least personally, you know? There were spiders in this room? That gives us one charge. Um, and can we find another room to give us a charge on here? Did we explore our entire floor already? Yeah. Um, there might have been a battery in our, our, uh, regular shop. I almost said Light World Shop, like it was Delta Rune. There might be, there might be a battery in our Light World Shop over here. Let's go find out. I, I do feel like this run is going to be fine, though. I mean, obviously, as a, I've said it before, but as a loss, like, you don't have the easiest times, you know? You, you, you generally are going to be in a rough spot for most of your run. Yeah, there's no battery. I, I do kind of want to take... Where, where's our secret room at? Where's our secret room at? Because I think buying Mystery Gift and rolling that... Like, it could have been there, you idiot. I think buying Mystery Gift and then um, rolling that... Could be... Well, wait, no, we should, put it, we should put it in our cursed room. Because we can get 9 lives or Guppy's Collar out of that. I shouldn't go for an Arky on a run like this or a Death Cert because the higher grade chance of winning the run is going to be found through... Um, like, like, extra life items. So, I definitely want to be going for the, um, devil deal type stuff. Let's see if our devil deal is actually still open. It would save us kind of some time right here. Are you still... Oh, no, you're closed. Okay. Let's pop this in our cursed room. We will hopefully get some kind of, um, option here. Sadly, we cannot re-roll anything. We're out of... We don't have any battery charges left. We could find an ultra secret room, I guess. Where would that be? Go back to your boss. You gotta make these runs work. I, I know I said that, like, it, it's a running trait in my channel, but you, you do have to make these runs work. So it can't be there. It can't be to the left or down. Uh, it could be right here. No, it can't. The shop's above that, you idiot. Um, it could be right there. Yeah, it has to be right here out of any room in the, the floor. Batteries? No. Okay, I, you already have it on you. Just go plop it down and see what happens. You're gonna be fine. If we would have played our charges one room differently, we could have definitely had a, ch like a higher chance to get it, but this is, at the end of the day, still fine. Watch those nine lives. Hey, no, it's damage, though. It's damage and evil. So that was, that was, 
I would have paid 15 cents for sin robes anyway, so I feel pretty good about that. Let's grab our D6 and we'll move on down. Should be to the right over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I plan to play more Inscription, by the way. That video went up uh, two days ago on the channel. Dude, like, that game is insane. I, I, as someone who whose entire, like, gaming childhood was just, like, Nintendo and then Isaac for, like, six years, I mean... Finding other games that I like a lot is mind-blowing. Because obviously I enjoy, you know, I enjoy games like Gungeon and Undertale, but Inscription has this, like, this beautiful, beat, like, thematic to it, where it, it, you do feel scared when you're playing it. You feel kind of, like, dread. Like, you understand, it, it, how do you explain this, right? There's a, there's a mystery behind it, right? You're in this room, or this cabin with a, with a very mysterious figure, and the game does not tell you that. You just feel that. Oh, great, more range. You just end up feeling that. Like, you feel like, oh, I know where I am, and I know there's danger here. If a, a game that can portray those feelings without having to, like, say anything directly to you about that has wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thematics. Like, it, it's, it's crazy. I, I think that, you know, in any case, even if the gameplay of that game was boring, which to me I find it pretty fun and pretty intuitive, I would still want to play it through just to solve the mystery. And I'm kind of already piecing it together in my mind. Like, I'm I'm already getting the, the ball rolling on what's going on in that game because it's not the most, like, you know, mind-blowing story, right? Because the animals are talking. Uh, he kills you over and over again. Like, you, you kind of get the... Ooh. Great first item for that. We do have starter deck. We do have starter deck. Um, that's really good, actually. It's really, really good for you. I could have kept rolling for a potential, like, nine lives there. But I think either way, just going through the motions of getting those items out of the pools, you'll, you'll find nine lives eventually. Hopefully you live that long, at least. But, hey, we don't really want that. We can now use a fool card or an emperor card to get out of our boss trap room. This is a very meta gamey episode, but I'm trying to win these runs as a loss, so I gotta be a little bit meta gamey here, obviously. But they, I, as I said last time, in our last like four lost episodes in a row, the loss is not a bad character. Yeah, you know that's, that's good for tinted rocks and secret rooms and crawl spaces, especially. You are. That's really good. That's also really good. Hold on. Um, Navi, where's our secret room at? Because now we have a way to re-roll secret room items, or also, I guess we can start rolling some devil deal items for nine lives. That's the better option there. You want to get a lot of money on your person before fighting your boss. The more money you have, the higher chance for seeing nine lives in a devil deal. So you do actually, yeah, this is really, really good because that's going to make... Oh, jeez, we went. We have an almost guaranteed chance to get any kind of respawn item here. I'd kill for Judas's Shadow, something along those, like, lines. Thomas, we're losing a lot of money. I kind of want to stock this thing back up here pretty soon, but we're not really in the best place to stock it up on a lost run. We like a cane run to do that, you know? Some kind of, like, infinite golden chest shit happening. Okay. Don't buy anything. You have your... No, take, take your judgment card. Um, and hold on to your Emperor card. If you do get hit, this Emperor card... No, take the Fool. The Emperor is good, but the Fool is better for escaping a boss fight this floor. So you can save your Emperor for, like I said earlier, the Cathedral if need be. Oh my god, this room is crazy. What the, There were like three enemies down there in that one little corner. Oh my god. Okay, game, I'm asking for uh, nine lives right now. Or at least some kind of devil deal. Give me some more money. Beautiful. I feel good to go in. We're probably not going to get a deal this floor anyways. That's not going to be a devil item roll. It's going to be a regular boss item when we roll it, though. This boss is worse for, like, the, the loss. This boss sucks for playing as a loss. Because they can just charge you down, you know? We're fine. Ooh. That makes all buffs for Angel and Devil go towards both of them. Oh, it does roll. Wait a minute. I'm not passing that shit up. I'm not passing that shit up. Yeah, that, that was a dumb play, but I think that was worth it. I am not passing that shit up. I mean, look at our tiers now. If, if, 
if we were guaranteed to see nine lives after those rolls, I definitely would have not taken it. But we're not guaranteed to see anything. I think that was a very nice play. Emperor card and reverse magician for the final few boss fights. Okay, yeah. Yeah, move on. You now have a, a lot of tears coming out right now. A lot of holy light tears coming out. Okay. Let's move down. Depths time, boys. I don't think any normal enemy is going to touch us. Because, like, look at all that. If they do get close to us, we do have the holy light shots to, to push them back as well as deal, like, a shit ton of damage. And when if you, if you watch the last run's beast fight, you know that holy light shots, when holy light shots stack... It's insane. The damage they do literally killed a horseman in like li in, in 10 seconds. So when these shots stack up, they do, and we only have two damage, they do an insane amount. I don't know if it's like plus, I don't know what the actual equation is for a uh, holy light damage, but it's not that small, I'll tell you that much. And we also have Maw of the Void to um back up, like push enemies back if need be. So right now, this run of my eyes is a win. It, we can definitely still lose on harder and longer boss fights later on, or a lot of bullshit rooms on the Cathedral and the Womb. But if, with this kind of build, we can most likely manage those rooms with ease. But going back to uh, Inscription here, I, I think that games like... Devolver Digital, Devolver made Gungeon, they made Phantom Abyss, all these amazing games. Like, when Devolver makes a game, they... Oh, okay. Um, when Devolver makes a game... They know exactly what they're doing and what they want to do. You're going to that rock, aren't you? No? Are you sure? You were over here earlier. What weird. Um, they know what they're doing. They know the aesthetic they want. They know the design they want. And they really put it to good use. Phantom Abyss is a great example of that, where it wasn't a commercial success, but if anyone who's played Phantom Abyss loves Phantom Abyss, because it is quite literally, like... And it's, it's a very... Oh my, we do literally... Okay. Yeah, we can't lose anymore, I don't think. Um, goodbye for that. Like, it just... How do you even explain Phantom Abyss, you know? It, it's just... When you play that game, like, when you play Phantom Abyss, you genuinely feel like you're adventuring through a temple. And the the, the movements, the whips, the, the traps, the puzzles, like, it's so fluid. They, they test everything out so much. It was very strange to see them doing a game that wasn't super action-packed. Because, you know, Gungeon and Phantom Abyss are very fast-paced games. This sucks. I'm not fucking with that room. Spike blocks are the lost, like, literally the, the worst enemies for this character. I am not fucking with that room. I'm gonna also go for more damage this run. But you don't do a lot for me, do you? I'll pick you up, though. Why not? Uh, what's what's in here for us, though? Ooh. If that was Ghost Pepper, I would have done it, but it's not. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that room. We were literally, like, frames away from dying right there, and... If we would have rushed that, we would have been fine, I think, but I did not want to rush something like that. So we'll just go through our floors normally here. We did miss an item room there. You know, boo-hoo. Do we really need it is, is the next question Like I want to ask myself. Do we, do we need that item room or that shop or anything like that? And the answer is no. We, we could have benefited from them, sure. It could have been, you know, Ghost Pepper in that item room. Why not? But it's... Overall, we're going to be fine. I mean, look at this build. Like, if you need more power than this to win, what are you on? This is insane. Also, Eternal D6 here does nothing because the item broke. Okay, cool. That one is probably the right answer here. Yeah. Looks like that, that Navi showed us the right way. Hey, listen, buddy. Nah, we need... I, every time I see a trinket, I'm like, oh, we could use that. And then I'm like, wait a minute. No, we can't because... If you lose perfection, we lose all of our power right now. I wanna, I'm not going to walk into that curse room either. We're at a point in the run where I, I need to really be safe. So walking into random curse rooms now is not going to cut it. And that's what I really wanted to see with magic skin. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hold that and bring it to our devil room. Or we could bring it to our curse room. And then have the option to have eternal D6 for both our curse and our devil room. Well, that's an instant take. You pick this up. I'm going to wait for a teleport card until I can walk in there. I don't want to get hit and then I'm just immediately dead. I could. I think you can save an exit to get your mantle back, but do you really want to be cheesing anything like that on this streak? I don't think so. 
Um, so we'll hopefully pray for a teleport card here. And if we get one, we can walk in there and feel safe about it. If we... Well... But if we waste time, we're not going to get enough D6 charges to see nine lives if it comes down to that. Just do it now. I think you can be fine in there. Just, you got to be really careful. Please, no enemies. Ooh. That's, uh... Extremely takeable again. We might be crashing the game with this run as of now. Because every enemy we kill is going to split into a, like eight shots. It also could be Holy Light and also could be Euthanasia shots. So we might have just like crashed our game. Um, we'll find out when we kill an enemy though. Because this, this synergy can get a little intensive on your GPU. I will say that much. My, my dang old... Yeah, like, like that for example. My dang old 1080. Kill those guys. Just that easy. Ace of Clubs. Actually, we can pop it in this room if we really need to. Yeah, that was a good choice. I don't like doing with the hands. Especially when the hands... Oh, small rock, though. When the hands could be um, <laughs> bone hands. I don't want to be fucking around with that. Yeah, I, you know, if I had to say, I think we'd be winning this run right now. We'd be definitely winning this run right now. Almond milk tears? Oh, let's just walk one of the spikes, you idiot. Uh, was our ultra or super secret room here anywhere? Yeah, it is. It's, 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 oh, Tinted Rock. Okay. And then it is over here because she's running straight to this wall. So it's got to be right here. Okay. Bomb beggar. Um, we're not going to be using bombs often. So why don't we give him all of our bombs? If, if he drops an item, we can roll it. Well, that was, that was convenient, wasn't it? A one-time drop. If we roll that, it could be like... Orphan socks. It, it could be defensive shit we could use. Like Halo of Flies would be amazing. So let's keep rolling that until we get something we're satisfied. Obviously, Transcendence is a very rare item, but it's not a good item. We already have flight since fucking floor one, so I don't really need that. And it's gone. Okay, wouldn't you know it? Get one more charge for your boss fight, potentially Devil Deal, Nine Lives, or Guppy's Collar, and then go and fight. This run, we're actually going like decently fast on it. Normally on these lost runs, like these are like, you know hour-long runs we I guess skipping depths one probably gave us an extra like 20 minutes to work usually I spend a lot of my time on the downpour or the depths so probably saved a lot of time doing that when it was let's walk in oh it's not mom's heart yet I'm an idiot I was we're going really fast right now it's not mom's heart yet it is not mom's heart yet be safe remember you can still die on these fights or not walk in here Ooh, okay that's beautiful that could save us that could literally save this entire run you take that, you roll this, you get more HP, you say fuck you, and you move on. Alright, now it's the mom's heart floor chat. I have no fear for mom's heart. I have fear for the womb floor, though. <laughs> that, that's what I genuinely have, have fear for. And of course, it's right here. Items? Oh, quarter? Nice. We can definitely roll that. We'll go. I don't know why I didn't roll it right there. I had a charge ready. My brain said you don't have a charge. My brain was like, there's no charge. Leave that room. But we actually do have a charge. Do you walk in? I don't want to play the wiki. But I kind of like spin down dice more. Um, A lot of item IDs that are, you know, decently good. Or at least, like, you know, part of similar pools are, are next to, to each other in IDs. So I guess I'd rather have the guaranteed roll than uh, the loss of a... Semi good item at, with Eternal D6 there. So we'll take spin down dice. Uh, we also are one away from having conjoined right now, which with this build would shred. If Imagine we had even more shots coming out. Like we had every one of us had two extra shots. That'd be one, two, three, four. That'd be six extra lines of tears coming out. That could be Holy Light or, you know, tough love shots. So yeah, if we can get conjoined on this run, I would be eternally grateful. And this room, well, that's, that's a take right there. Yeah. You don't fuck around and not take that. You definitely want it. Gurglings are very easy. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty si oh, oh, pretty sizable damage up, to be honest with you. Goodbye. 2.78 with this tier rate? I mean, dude, we're, we're fucking. We're fucking. Would I want Libra right now? As, as I'll always say, yes, I'll always take Libra no matter what the run is. Libra's soy milk used to be busted as hell, man. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, Lib Libra's soy milk used to be busted as hell. I know they, they nerfed the shit out of it, but I'm guessing that it's still not that bad. Because they did overall, like, buff Libra. So, but nerfed that one synergy, so it's still probably pretty good, but it's not as good. 
People don't like Libra. I don't get it. I don't get it. I love the item. Libra has not saved runs, but it does make runs a lot more interesting for me, at least. Jesus Christ, this build. I can't get over how actually just, like, insane where this run is right now. Guests? Item? No, I want to get more rolls on my spin down right now, dude. What if we spin down, like, into Holy Mantle? I don't want to use the wiki at all. Even when I play Tana Cannon on this streak, obviously, I'm not going to use the wiki. So... This makes this item a lot less useful, but if I can know some item IDs, it could be kind of nice. Alright, here we go. Okay, no eyes, perfect. Keep your shots on her. She should be a goner. She's a goner. Ooh, Jesus Christ. I'm not going to go fight Hush. We have the negative, so we're going down here. Um, Leave. Okay, the Satan fight's what I'm worried for now. I might be popping my reverse magician on that. I don't know, though. I honestly don't know. If we live to Darkroom, we can probably get, like, a, a dead cat on that floor. Pop that. Please, Emperor card, or, like, some kind of, like, powerful card. That's pretty good. Wow, all right. That's essentially an Emperor card for us. And that is a fly. We are now two parts Beelzebub. You know what, man? Just go in. I'm scared of this fight. Good damage. I'm scared of the leeches is a big thing. Not even the actual fight, just the leeches. I'm, I'm really fucking nervous for this. That's why I don't like fighting Satan. <laughs> Oh, can I just, like, have a detox real quick, man? Sack Dagger. Why am I take? I gotta take him at... Okay. Well, the only useful thing here is Sack Dagger, so we'll, do we'll go with that, I guess. Yeah, that was uh, a bit fucking terrifying for the streak. Oh, you are just as bad. You are just as bad right there. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um. Well... I love Conjoin now. I actually really appreciate the game giving me Conjoin, like... Right now. Don't even touch that thing. I am still shaking from that fucking Satan fight. That was the worst thing in the world that could have happened to me. Aside from death, obviously. Air throw? Algies! <gasps> Toxic Shock as well. Yo, we're gonna win this run. We have Algies and the Reverse Magician card. I don't know if real it wow, I don't know if realistically um we can die on that fight. We can beat him in 30 seconds, yeah. Definitely can. Also, a lot of chest traps. Oh my god. Because of our 10 luck. Thank you, perfection, for that. Uh we have more damage every room now. How do you work? Yeah, you're gonna be really bad, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna be really, really bad. As always, bro. Like what, what's new with that item, huh? Okay, I think we've won another loss run, gamers. I think we have won a... Ooh, that's interesting. Another loss run. Uh, give it up. Give it up for fucking Holy Light. That was kind of the savior of this streak right now. Get rid of that. Yeah, we've won, I think. Amazing. Yeah, neither of those are going to be really good for us. Let's grab our reverse uh, magician card right there. And I guess you pop that the second you pop both the second you walk in, huh? Might as well take this for now. Okay. You just you just do the Oh yeah, you won. You've won the run. Well, if you enjoyed this lost run, uh, let me know down below. Um aside from that, all my socials and my uh socials like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, uh TikTok, second channel, those are all down there as well. Feel free to like and comment for the algorithm. It helps me out more than you know, and it makes me feel better as a creator. But aside from that, guys, it's been BD1P. Amazing run. Are like so many lost runs recently, but I'll see you guys later. Peace out and goodbye.